So what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy GRAJSM. Oh, um, so right now we're in 4K and you guys are looking at me on the Canon SL3 in 24 frames per second. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about the uh, autofocus because it kind of keeps going in and out. I know you guys can see the light coming in, you know, from the blinds. Uh, it is what it is. Daylight is daylight. So, um, the cool thing about this, uh, if you remember before, I used to have my 50 millimeter, right? And the 50 mil would, uh, you know, be all the way across the room. So I kept this across the room, but now I'm using a 24 millimeter. And because uh, the Canon cameras have that, uh, the, the, the APS-C crop, and then there's another crop in 4K. Look at that, look at that, look at that, focus. That 4K, man. 4k won't focus for nothing but <laughs> the uh, uh what is it the 4k has an additional crop so because it has that additional crop i would want to go ahead and use this 24 and this is the 24 pancake see that that's the 24 mil pancake and this is the uh 2.8 stm all right so the focus really i mean It'll focus on things kind of quick, but then it'll lose that focus. Like the 4K focus is really bad. Um, is it unusable? <sighs> for like, for YouTube, no. I've seen way worse. I've seen YouTubers who, whose 1080 can't focus. So this 4K, you know, having a little bit difficulty focusing uh, isn't really a big deal. The 4K uh, at 24 mils, uh, is not too bad 24 mil in the APS-C sensor winds up being about like 38. I know my math is completely off 35 millimeter film would be considered full frame So full frame on a 35 would that be the same as or relatively close to 24 on an APS-C So is this like film quality? So this 24, this 24, um, in my opinion, you know, it's good for like being on a tripod. It's good for, you know, talking, you know, videos where you're just talking to the camera. Uh, it's very lightweight, very thin. They call it a pancake for a reason because it's flat. Uh, the, um, the aperture goes all the way out to the uh, 2.8. So it isn't the best for like bokeh and blurry backgrounds. Um, photography. I'd, I'd rather see you with a, a faster prime lens. Like I still have the uh, the 50 1.8. I probably would suggest uh, if there is, I don't know, 24 faster prime lens or maybe even a 35 uh, or something that's a 35 equivalent. Now Canon is supposed to be coming out with the R5 relatively soon and uh, that's obviously gonna drop the price of the RP is going to drop the price of the R and they're also going to be coming out with the R6 which is going to kind of be like a budget version of the R5 so the SL3 I hate to say it it's kind of useless it's probably a bad buy on my part but cheap entry-level DSLR yeah it, it's cool if you got a little more money to spend I would definitely suggest checking out so everyone talks about the M50 M50 is good. What the fuck, man? It's supposed to be a lens fucking video. Why am I talking about the fucking camera? <sighs> I always do this. I always start talking about my fucking camera. And nobody really cares about the fucking camera. <sighs> oh, shit. It's way too early for this shit. So, if you have a... Canon DSLR that can do 4k and you want to get a wider picture Think about investing in a wider lens and if you're on a tripod and you're just doing a talking head like I am uh, Yeah, the 24 mil pancake uh, It's not a bad deal. Check the description below for links and uh, This is your boy GRA JSM. Oh, and I'm at